what I personally like about it is it's just never the same. There's always minute changes to the coffee, even if it comes out of the same, uh, you know, bag, out of the same harvest throughout the week, it changes. Um, throughout the weeks, if you have it for a couple weeks, the same roast, it'll change. You roast it, uh, the same coffee today, tomorrow, it just, the, the process of roasting it, it just slightly so ever changes. And that, that what fascinates me. It's very hard to always nail it 100%. And that's what keeps me on my toes. And trying to perfect it is almost impossible. I'm still trying. So, but me, my personality and clients, I'm very stubborn and I want to achieve perfection, which is not being impossible, but I'm still trying to get there every time. Um, so I'm just a very stubborn, traditional person. Um, put family and then quality in what I do first. I'm just trying to, you know, at the end of the day, just put a quality cup of coffee in, in somebody's hands or, you know, and have them taste a good cup of coffee. Cause it's just, you know, what, the reason why we really started back so many years ago is uh, me and my wife went to Germany, had a vacation. My mom had a super automatic and we we're like blown away of how good that coffee was. We came back. And at the time in our area, there was really no good coffee shops or anything. We're like, why is this so terrible? And then that's where my obsession, especially started trying to make better coffee. And, uh, you know, since then, there's some more better coffee roasters in this area. But I'm still obsessed with making good coffee and, you know, traditional coffee. So I think a lot of, a lot of traditions can fall these days. I want to kind of keep some traditional uh, aspects of it in it of the economy. People to change and try something different. I mean, prime example, my dad, I mean, Patrick's been roasting for five years. This, my dad has finally, the past couple months, started drinking Patrick's coffee. And I think it was just because he was so stubborn and just like, well, no, I like my Rudder's coffee. I actually tried it. And he's like, yeah, I really like this. So I think probably the most shocking is trying to get other people to even just try it. It's just like, but you know, it, you, you don't have to move to it. You don't have to switch to it. We're not saying you have to like it. Just try it. It's something a little different, but a lot of people are, are very, I don't want to say stuck in their ways. They just don't want to venture out to try something new unless they absolutely are tired of what they're doing or, or anything like that. So I think it's just trying to get somebody to try something new. I think it's been the hardest, the hardest part. Honestly, simple. I, you know, hopefully whoever tastes my coffee for the first time just go, hmm, that's good. That, that's really all I want. If they... They, in that moment, they drink that coffee and they just feel good and it helps them to have a good moment. That's really all I'm after. I try to stay out of his way when he's roasting. <laughs> And I, I just try to do my own thing. Um, I, I like, I don't know. I think I like being independent. So I, I, I try to let him roast and, you know, I, I will try to help out where, where I can and when I can and go out there and try to do like the single serve cups and stuff like that. Um, but in the end, I don't want to bother him while he's trying to roast just because I fully understand it's an art. Um, so I mean, we work together, but we're not like in there side by side roasting together and, and being all crazy. Like he will be there roasting and I'll be like in the house just, you know, posting stuff on social media and trying to look at the website, making sure that we have everything right. And if, you know, we're out of something particular, you know, it's not on there so people can try to purchase it. So I try to just, I don't know, keep my distance <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, I would say we, we both work better independently, but we really know what each other does without even knowing yeah. if it makes sense. Um, like today, she was asking me a question while I was roasting. That's gone from I was like, yeah, I'm doing this. <laughs> and um, then she just walked back out and she knew it was just you know, not a good time. Um, and I knew it wasn't something important. So as soon as I finished that one roast, I, I came back in and said, hey, what's up? And she, 
Uh, it's just we work better independently because we know so well what the other person is doing. Yeah. If that makes sense. Ideally, the future is hopefully um, we we can do the the roastery full time right. is uh, to grow as much as we possibly can. I mean, he is the dreamer. So his his mind is always in the clouds, and I'm always I'm like the yeah we're not doing that you're crazy. Uh, but um, I mean ideally you know to have a very nice established roastery roastery on top of you know at one day opening up a coffee shop where you know we, we can also brew coffee and and sell coffee that way as well and just try to expand as much as we possibly can. I just Obviously, right now, that's not going to happen, but I mean, the end goal is really no limit. I mean, yeah. the sky is the limit for the future at some point. Yeah. Not right now. So, <laughs> but, but, um, but yeah, I mean, just, I don't, again, when I have morning time with the smell of coffee and, and sipping the coffee and just kind of taking the, the 10 to 15 minutes of just relaxing before all chaos breaks loose. I want other people to be able to have that too. And I know the coffee that we've tried, the store-bought coffees and even going to some of the other coffee shops, It all those coffees just are blah to me. And I think I'm spoiled with him because I get it right away. It's, it's freshly roasted. It's just so amazing to me. And of course I'm biased, but you know, but, um, I don't know. I just to try to be able to to share that with other people, and and have them also have that experience because I think a lot of people miss that and they don't they don't have that. So yeah. I'm Patrick. You're and this is Kristen Yuri, his wife, at Green Shark Coffee, and we are... <laughs> Hi, I'm Patrick Yuri, husband. And I'm Kristen Yuri, his wife, at Green Shark Coffee, and this is Roaster Spotlight.